you know, it's so wonderful to Thank meet you. you. I've been such a fan for so, Thank so you. long. Likewise. And you are truly an icon in the industry. Thank you. I'm so nervous to be here with you right now. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> well, don't be, because I'm a dork. So <laughs> hopefully the ice will be broken <laughs> shortly. <I hope> so. <laughs> I was really excited because when I found out we could do this video together, I thought, who better than to kind of walk me through all the steps that go into yes. a red lip? Yeah. I feel like any true professionally done red lip so good. has many many steps to it and it does. so i found this um i like to sort of find a reference mm -hmm. to kind of go from and so i was looking through your social and i thought this would be a really great lip to recreate i had a good filter there but we love a good filter <laughs> i was snatched af <laughs> but i will i will show you how to do a really nice red lip for sure and this is the color that we're going to be using yes yeah, cinco de mayo Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. How do yeah. you um, go about naming all your lipsticks and products? What's the process? It's so funny. So it actually is a huge thing in the company, like coming up with names. Yeah. And it's kind of like a hack. I feel like we all get together and we all like say like what mood we're feeling. Yeah. And um, I'm really, I can be like really challenging. Like I yeah. can definitely be a little bit like difficult because I'm always like, I want this kind of mood. I want that kind yeah. of mood. But our team is like the best. They come yeah. up with everything. Such a great red. Yeah. And I love how the lipstick looks almost like a velvet kind yeah. of. It even looks like um like paper. It's yeah, so it's powdery. rich and powdery. It's beautiful. I like that you pay attention to detail. Yeah, I am. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for appreciating Very the detail. detail I can tell. I love it. But you know, a lot of people don't realize that they can actually wear red lip. So many people are intimidated. I used to be intimidated. I by used it. to be. Yeah. I think it's uh, it definitely comes with finding the color that works totally. for you yeah. and it's you know it's not for every day it's not mm -hmm. for everyone every day it's not it's for powerful. me every day it's but powerful. when you wear it exactly it gives you that feeling that so emotion much. it's it's really powerful i feel like the best time to wear it is when you're having one of those like flat days yes. and it's just a great and way and you're like kind of don't fuck with me world <laughs> yeah. yeah or a big meeting <laughs> maybe not a hot date <laughs> well depend yeah <laughs> depends. okay so we'll run through some of the steps we're yeah. both wearing lipstick your lipstick yeah. is gorgeous by the way Thank what you. color is it i'm wearing a so rodial pretty. pencil and it's called calabasas all over the lip yeah it's and a little bit of lip balm underneath and i yeah. feel bad asking you to remove it no nope. but if we can we'll start first just with a makeup remover yeah. this is these are my favorite drugstore makeup remover wipes, but they're quite, they're kind of oily, so we'll go ahead and remove everything. Do you get really close into the mirror when you do this? Yeah. Yeah. I always feel Weirdly, like when I do lip, I'm like this, and then <laughs> when I do foundation, I'm all the way out here, which makes no sense whatsoever, but I think it I gives think it me does. anxiety to see how, how like, much coverage I put on my skin. So. so a lot of people also, when they're doing their lips, you know, they there's a lot of confidence that they want to feel through yeah. their lip and so sometimes they'll do some contouring and some shaping and so you know we can talk a little bit about that through the video yeah great um we don't probably want to contour that much you have amazing lips thank you i filled my lips a lot so i'm happy with them <laughs> but we I can run through some of the things my dad's lips and they're beautiful and they're literally my brother beautiful. and sister and i all have these big lips but um and we always wondered where they came from but they're my, they're my dad. He has like a sort of pouty mouth. They're not as full as ours, but he's got a pouty. And then my son stunning. has them as well. So after we've wiped with the yes. makeup remover wipe. You're we're gonna, so neat. I know. I, I You are know. a very neat person. I am a slob. I, I mean, it depends on the mood. But Wait, hold on. Let me I'm fold this too. Mood. I need to fold this as well. <laughs> <laughs> You're so neat. One second. I'm getting there. I'm a really bad folder. <laughs> okay, so now we're just going to remove the oil. Okay. With, with the, the distiller water. Okay. Yeah. So now we'll go ahead and scrub the lip. I think when you're doing a red lip too, sometimes like you can see where the pigment sticks mm -hmm. if there's any dead skin. Yeah. So it's actually really important to exfoliate. A lot of people don't realize sometimes they have dead skin, they don't even know. Yeah. And then you can see pigmentation. I always it. like to, um, when I get out of the shower, yeah. I rub my lips on the, on the edge of the towel. So nice. Or on the flat and all face cloth after I've washed so my face. Good. That's actually my favorite. Yeah. So I personally love that. If people I don't have a scrub. It's the most gentle and totally. after your lips are all kind of nice and um, kind of wet. So I was going to say moist, but that's a gross word. <laughs> a lot of people hate moist that word. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes people have like salt scrubs. Salts tend to be a little drying, so yeah. I think sugar is better. More gentle. So circular motions, you kind of like, yeah, pat your lips. No, it's going on over my nose now. <laughs> mm -hmm. I feel like it makes your lips a really sexy color. Yeah. You could actually just be down here. But like, you look amazing actually. <laughs> I 
just gonna go out with this lip. Anyway. You actually look amazing. Looks like I, have lip gloss I feel on like you even start a trend. <laughs> So after we're done with that, if yeah. your lips don't look as good as Rosie's and you want to do the next step, <laughs> you can just grab a wet towel. And this is what you actually like to do, you were saying, mm -hmm. which I agree is like amazing. It does taste good too. Right? Yeah, taste test. <laughs> Secretly also eating. <laughs> so I think now just because it can be a little drying after you scrub, we can put a little balm on. Which, what flavor do you want? We have vanilla and we have berry. Ooh. Which one do you want? Mm. Vanilla? Vanilla, it smells yeah. really good. You're gonna love it. They're both beautiful. It's just so soothing. Like as soon as you put it on, it feels so good. It smells really good. Like and an it says this is a lip sleeping mask. Mm -hmm. So we're not gonna use it as a sleeping mask right now because it's a little oily. We're just gonna apply a little bit and then we'll blot off any excess like oils. There, I'm gonna give you this, this tissue, which I folded for you. Thank you. <laughs> and we're just gonna blot all the excess okay. oil. So you can just kind of pout. So now you have a little bit of hydration. Yeah but all the oil is gone. And depending on, a lot of people, sometimes their lips will bleed. Like you might wanna maybe avoid completely hydrating your lips beforehand, unfortunately, just because like if it bleeds, like the oils out Oh, there. I thought you meant like bleed like blood. You no. bleed, that's like, <laughs> You were like, that's not happening. Yeah. <laughs> maybe they should avoid yeah. that yeah. No, um, But a lot of people like the, the red will sometimes bleed. I so a lip line will help. Yeah. yeah. First we'll lip line. And this is Heartbreaker. You're you using Heartbreaker. Heartbreaker. Super long wear matte lip liner. Okay, yes. beautiful. So the general rule is mm -hmm. to apply, like take your cupid's bow mm -hmm. and apply an X oh. where you want it to be. And I used to overline my lips. So I used to go a little bit above. And I think it's really important whenever you are doing that to kind of test and see what looks good. Um, I think a good test to see if you're overlining too much is to smile. Uh -huh. And if it's if it looks a little weird, then that's probably not a good idea to go any higher. You actually have a really big um, top lip. Yeah. So if you want, you can contour the bottom a little bit. I never do the bottom one. You don't have to, to be honest. But if you then want I to, I really do that. Like I've got a pair of sausages on my mouth. <laughs> I don't think um, you really have to, to be honest. I actually love a, like a nice full. Yeah. Lip. I think it's so. It just looks so youthful. Yeah. It looks so fresh. It's really yeah. sexy. So personally, I don't think you have to. But you, if you wanted to, you could. Yeah. A lot of people sometimes. Well, I'm not very good at doing it on my own. So right. I, I make artists will do it, but I find like when I line my bottom lip, it makes the whole thing go round, and right. I like my mouth to be elongated yeah. rather than like round. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. So I find like because my bottom lip's quite full and it's totally rounded. Totally. I mean, you have sexy, like such sexy natural lips, but a lot of times when people have like if they have mouths that are narrow, mm -hmm. what they can do is they can kind of go yeah, really that's far up. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we have the X, uh -huh. and now we can kind of go just down below, and you can draw like just a line here on where you want that to be. So now we'll go ahead and we'll just connect, and like depending on the shape that you want to do, okay. like I think you could go ahead and follow your natural okay. lip line. A lot of people, if their cupid's bow is like kind of pointed like mine, you can just round it out a little bit. Okay. Yeah, yours is like, I think we just follow your natural one. The corners are pretty important. You want to make sure they're quite tight. A lot of times, people when they're overlining, they'll like go really wide here, yeah. and they'll look. It looks a little clownish. So you sort of almost want to go like, un, like under here rather exactly. than like over the lip line. Okay. Exactly. I feel like you know how to do like bomb lips. Uh, it depends on the day. <laughs> like see how everything looks. One's straight and then one's droopy. Yeah. So if you mess up at all, mm -hmm. you could just take a Q-tip, and I prefer to use a Q-tip and just clean it away. And only use concealer, like if it's absolutely necessary. I also like um, a bottom lip that's kind of like this is just personal preference. I like one that's kind of like a little rounded here instead of like right. Like that. <laughs> so I always go up here too. And if you want to do this, you don't have to, but you can always draw like lines here. I'm just doing whatever you're doing because I like. <laughs> so you can draw like a line here. Mm -hmm. It gives you like a you don't need it, but it gives you like a full like lip. So this is an Instagram. Pack we're gonna try. Okay. So we're gonna put the Q-tip here, uh -huh. and apparently uh -huh. it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna help us with making the lips really nice and it not to pull some taut. Yes, it should make them really nice and like tight in the corners and not so. And if you didn't want to use a Q-tip, you could just smile. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this actually works. I don't think this works. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Instagram, you lied. And so like the lines like barely show through when you mm -hmm. put them on. And sometimes you can go darker with it. And so the thing about red lipstick is, a lot of people don't know they can actually wear it, but it's just finding the right tone. So how does somebody go about finding the right tone? What's your advice? 
So if you are somebody who is more olive, like depending on, there's this one trick. I don't know if it's completely the best trick, but you're supposed to look at your veins and depending if your veins are green or blue, that kind of tells you your undertone. My veins kind of look green sometimes, blue sometimes. So honestly, like I think it's a good idea to like get them. <laughs> I don't know how they're blue. <laughs> I think they're blue. Yeah. So yeah, um, you're kind of saying. in the middle. Yeah. yeah, I feel like it might be more neutral. Yeah. So you could wear, um, so if you have like green veins, it means you're more warm. It means that you could go with um, a lipstick that has a bit more of an orange undertone. Who taught you that? That's a really interesting myth. I feel like I was like trying to find out how to help people find their undertones and I Googled it. And I was like, it doesn't really work completely all the time, but it's the best thing that I found. I really like the um, the shape of, uh, of these lipstick, but it like really helps to kind of get to the edges. And yeah. I find like when you do a red lip, you want that sharp edge Super on a lipstick, sharp. as Super opposed sharp. to that sort of more traditional rounded edge of a lip. Totally, That's totally really helpful. Do you like the texture? I love the texture. Works so hard on that. It feels really comfortable mm -hmm. and and it feels almost like your lips are wearing a bit of a corset as mm -hmm. well, which I love. I'm so happy you said that. We worked so it's hard on that. It's got like a this there's a strength to it in the formulation but it doesn't mm -hmm. feel drying and i think that's often the yeah. problem with lipstick is the, especially matte ones yeah now did you use the lip um brush and you no you just i'm actually just using around. yeah right. okay yeah this way you don't have too much product so you kind uh -huh. of can prevent bleeding this is a great color do you like it mm. and i love that it's it's kind of I want to say it's matte, but it's still got a sheen mm -hmm. to it. It's still, and perhaps that's the prepping it with the lip balm, but they still look really hydrated. Yeah. For me, the problem with a red lip is knowing when to stop. <laughs> a lot of people don't realize that you can actually put a gloss on with a shimmer, take a tissue, matte it, and all the shimmer will stay and all the oils will go. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and blot. That's going to help remove any sheen, just mm -hmm. if you want a matte lip. Sometimes, um, like the darker the lip, the redder the lip, it can be a little overpowering, so mattifying it is like a great idea. Otherwise, like, you know, depending on who you are, if you're really comfortable with a red lip or a dark lip, you can use gloss, but I think I think it's a good yeah. idea to sometimes matt it. So that's it. So good. Yeah, and pretty easy too. I think honestly, anybody can put a beautiful red lip yeah. on. They just need like some tricks and tricks. And what were you saying about using the foundation just to kind of clean it up? If you want up? to. If you want to clean it up around yeah. the edges, yeah. I recommend using a foundation, not a concealer. Yeah. A lot of people take a concealer. But and most it gets well, and it's also lighter, yeah. so it looks like you're like glowing around. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you can take if you bleed, you can take a little powder on the edges. But honestly, this is just I don't recommend it for everyone. Just like if your lips have like little wrinkles around. I love it. Let's you don't need someone it. to kiss. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> our babies, <laughs> our babies. Yeah, <laughs> that's who we're actually gonna go kiss. <laughs>